What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing The Floor is Breathing. A little bit of a content warning here at the start of the game. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a bit disturbing, at least from the comments I've read on Ichio. But it also seems like it's going to be a good game, so let's play. Oh. Watching a movie? And so you understand what we found? Not quite. Uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, four mutilated corpses inside of your home. What a way to start the game, jeez. I like the feel of their breath through the floorboards. January 17th, 2007, 7.36 p.m. Welcome home. Thank you. Feels good to be home. Oh. Okay, here I am. Press E to check tasks. Okay. <laughs> Seems a little out of place for the game I'm about to play, but to-do list. Check for monsters under the bed. Use my hammer to fix the window. Watch the TV. Go to sleep. Have a lovely day. Do I have a flashlight of sorts? No. Why do I move so slowly? There's no running. Oh my god. Divorce rates at highest? Bro, what does this say? Lose yourself in the dream, reality is cold. You and me both know that hiding in yourself is the only way to sustain your sick fantasies. All right, I'm going upstairs, man. That's where I think my bed is. I'm not gonna, not gonna stick around and read the existential crisis. I'm going up. Oh, who would have a picture like this in their home? And there are multiple copies of them. <laughs> That's great. All right. Uh, what? I didn't even. I didn't even look under the bed, but okay. What was the next thing? Use my hammer to fix the window. Okay, gotcha. Picking that up. And which window do I need to fix? I don't think there's any up here. This is the only kind of window that I could. There we go. Board. Oh, there was a little break in it. I gotcha. <gasps> Watch the TV, what happens if I... Mm, well, you're gone now. <laughs> really setting the tone here. Oh, I'm creeped out. Oh, I'm creeped out. Oh, I'm creeped out. Oh, I'm creeped out. Dude, is this all I do? We're watching a TV show. This is fine, but... Oh, now I can go to sleep. Well, at least it's a little brighter in here. That's kind of nice, but... I don't know how I feel about the red face that I saw. It was a little unnerving. Going upstairs and straight to bed. Oh. Okay, there's something under there. No matter, just gonna go right to bed. Oh. Here we go again. Oh my God, okay. That's, that's dark. January 18th, 2007, 8.21 p.m. Welcome home. It's like we have some more tasks to check. Check if the window is safe. Check for monsters under my bed. Watch the TV, go to sleep. The window is not safe. Now it is. All right, time to check for monsters under the bed. Jeez Louise, dude. I don't know that I agree with this at all. This is very dark. A very dark experience. I guess it's good. So now the only thing on my list is to go downstairs and watch TV. I'm just gonna keep checking that corner of the house. Making sure there's nobody there. Hello? Oh, great. One person now. Oh. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, 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 dude. This is incredibly dark, but this is a really well-made game, honestly. Oh, oh. Oh my God, dude, the atmosphere. The floor is breathing. 
that's what's happening. Okay. Uh, who's laughing? February 4th, 1992. Subject has various gross lesions across the chest and face. Hemorrhage bilaterally in the conjunction. The subject has rope burns around the neck and wrists. The subject has suffered the loss of three fingers. The subject was found hidden under the floorboards with three other individuals. Well, that's great. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Go upstairs. I don't know why it was in red. Oh, this is where the noise is coming from. Dude, this is, behold, the Lord came with many thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to convict all the ungodly of all their ungodly deeds, which they have done in an ungodly way. And of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. That was lost on me, dude. I'm going to sleep. Oh. The light is on. Okay, I thought I was just going to bed, but I guess not. Go to sleep is the only thing on my list now. What happens if I go downstairs? Can I even? Oh no, I don't know that I want to. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, that room is pitch black. We're not doing that. I'm going upstairs. Looks like it's bedtime. I don't see anything under my bed anymore, so I think I'm okay. This is disturbing. Okay, here we go. One of them is going to disappear. Yep. Well, I guess we're going to see what happened to the next one. January 19th, 2007, 7.56 p.m. Welcome home. Prepare the door. Check for monsters under the bed. Watch TV. Go to sleep. Okay, I don't know what keeps happening with this door and why it is slightly ajar. But we're good. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of noise. Oh, the floor is definitely breathing. Dude, that is so cool. Also very disturbing, but very cool. What was the next on my list? Check for monsters under the bed. You know, I'm starting to think that I'm the monster here. I don't think I need to worry about any other monsters under my bed. We're fine. I'm the one causing all the problems. And it looks like I'm good to go, so... Watch TV is the next on my list. I'm going down and hoping to God not to be jump scared at any point in time. TV time. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh. That's breathing as hell. Okay, so... Did I do it? I did. I'm gonna go upstairs. Because there's nothing else that I can do here. Right? Ooh. Dude, the atmosphere in this game is insane. I'm really freaked out. I'm gonna keep it moving. Who's calling? Is this a phone? Why does that sound like a phone? It's not a phone. I gotta go back down. Oh, oh man, why? Oh, that's why. Okay, I'm gonna go answer this. Dude, this is rough, man. This is really rough. Answer the call. Here we go. Hello? Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm having. Ooh, I'm being watched. I'm being watched every which way. Get me the hell upstairs and into bed, dude. This is a fever dream. I need to sleep it off, and there we go. There's a garbage bag. Carry corpse. What do you want me to do with this? Dear Samantha, I'm writing to inform you that you're welcome to our New Year's party. I know you've been very isolated recently, but I think you'll make fast friends with the others. Also, pass on my best wishes to your husband. I haven't seen him for a few weeks. I hope he's doing well. Wishing you the best. Well, that's great. Where do I put this? I don't want this anymore. I'm going to get rid of it. Please. Enough of this. Okay. Oh, my God. This is... 
Very creepy. Okay, I'm disposing. <laughs> Am I crying? Why would I be crying if I'm the one who did all this? Okay. Oh. Oh. Hello, sir. I'm gonna come upstairs and meet you. Uh, okay, you're gone. <laughs> that was brief. I'm going to bed, dude. Sorry. Tomorrow's another day. Well, I heard the notes. I'm going to bed. Oh, dude. Very atmospheric and dark game. And here we go. Actual chills, dude. You can't pull a move like that on me, dude. I played too many horror games to feel comfortable with that. Let me up. Okay. We're back in it to win it. Anything on my notes? Hide. Where? Where would I hide? You're not giving me the opportunity? Okay, I guess I gotta go down. So I gotta go downstairs. Oh. You are no longer safe here. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. There you are, buddy. <gasps> then Alicia prayed and said, Oh, Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, there's a door over here that wasn't there before. Dude, what the hell is going on? Open your eyes. Whoa. Whoa, okay. This is a new environment. I gotcha. Okay, I see a house to my left over there. I don't know where I am or why I'm here. Looks like I'm in a fishbowl or something. Okay, okay. What am I seeing over there? I'm seeing something over there and I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a playground. I thought it was like a giant lumbering monster watching over me. Um, so I guess I gotta go over here. I see all the eyes. Do you have anything to say to me, eyes? Read. Okay. Whoa. To my dearest Samantha, how is your husband? Though I suppose you wouldn't know, but I know. I saw what you've done, and I saw how you murdered your son, too. You make my blood curl. Posting your vile actions online, creating a circus out of the death of your own flesh and blood deplorable filth. I have all of it recorded, saved, and so do the police. You will not escape your crime nor your judgment. Enjoy eternal suffering, you sick, twisted fuck. Wow, dude. This is very well written. Oh. Finish what we started? Excuse me? I don't know about this one, chief. I don't know about this one. Oh. Oh. Was very loud january 20th 2007 recording start what the hell this is a little bit different okay well this is kind of pleasant do i need to take anything out of the trunk that's the first thing on my mind in all honesty based on what's been going on here what is all this is it bulk pickup day or something i don't know let me go let me go to this house is this even my house Am I about to do something that I absolutely would not recommend doing or even come close to condoning IRL? I don't know, but place looks kind of abandoned in all honesty. What's the deal? Do I go over here? There's a lock on the door. Ring doorbell. Warn to enter and search premises. Hey, Mark, I don't know how I feel about this one. She should be just a witness, but something about her in this case makes me uncomfortable. Although she's lost her son and her husband, so go easy on her. I still insist you don't go alone, but I'm sure you'll still ignore me anyway. Be careful. Just ask the questions and check the house and get back. See you soon. I have a feeling that no, you won't see me soon, but I'm ringing the doorbell. I'm gonna stand a little bit back, just in case. Um, hello? 
Something tells me she's not gonna answer. Break down the door? Okay. Oh god. Ooh. Whoa. All right, the floor is absolutely breathing. Ooh, I don't know about this one. Uh, why am I seeing this? Okay, I'm hearing that breathing. This is not okay, dude. This is really disturbing. <gasps> no. No. I'd rather not. Oh. Oh. Hello there. I'm being held captive, dude. What do I... Oh. There's nothing I can do about this. Holy shit. January 20th, 2007, 9.57 p.m. Welcome home. Oh, okay. Uh, am I the lady again? All right, well, I don't think there's much I can do here. Do I just... They can't take us alive. What do you expect me to do? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go upstairs. I mean, in all honesty, I'm kind of hoping... Okay. Dude. I feel like my face has been perpetually stuck like this the whole time. Is there anything to say? No? Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. What? Four murders. And you couldn't even kill yourself. What? You're crowded by physical and digital evidence. The blood on my hands will stain your conscience into the... Wow, dude. Actual chills going up my spine. I gotta say, man, that was quite the game. That, uh, that unnerved me in so many ways. Not only through the atmosphere and just the visual quality and the grittiness of it all, but just how dark the story was, man. That was... That was kind of intense. As dark as this was, it made for a really good horror game. And I think um, disturbing and unnerving the audience is a very good move if done the right way. And I feel it was done the right way here. There's a little bit of shock value to this, but it's nothing super gruesome or in your face. It's a lot more implied than anything else. And I think that adds to the horror a lot when you leave room for interpretation and you leave room for the audience or the player to kind of wallow in the atmosphere and just experience it. I don't play nearly enough games that do that. A lot of the games that I play are just in your face. The horror is right there for you to see, but this one, it was so subdued, so in the background. that I don't know, it, it struck a different chord with me and made it a lot more disturbing. But yeah, this, this was a great game. It's definitely not for everyone. It's not for those who are um, easily disturbed by concepts like these, but 
I still thought it was very well made. But yeah, that about wraps it up for me here. If you guys want to try this out for yourselves, be sure to check the link down below in the description. Otherwise, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all for being here and for showing me your support every single day. If you happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave me a little comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.